My dad moved here in 2017. Um, I was still a senior in high school and I came to Texas for two weeks. And one of the first things we did was we went to church. I had never really been to church. It, it was never, I didn't grow up with it. So it was a very, it was a new thing for me. I graduated high school and uh, I had just got accepted into college and I, it's what I thought I wanted to do. So that year I went off and I went to the University of Akron to be a theater major. The first few months of being on my own and going to college were very difficult for me. And unfortunately, about two months into my career at college, I started to struggle with significant mental health issues um, that resulted in me having to go to my first inpatient stay uh, shortly before I turned 19. For about a year and a half after that point was me consistently revolving doors in and out of these psychiatric hospitals trying to get medication situated or trying to feel some sort of normalcy in my life. I ended up dropping out of college after my first semester from August 1st until later on, I was staying in and out of shelters. I'm still struggling with the mental health stuff at that point. And November 21st of uh, 2020, I tried to take my life and ended up in the ICU for two days. But that week that I was in the hospital, I got a phone call um, that I got accepted for an apartment and that I wasn't gonna be homeless anymore. And for somebody who wasn't really religious and never really had that around, that was the first time in my life I've ever actually felt God working in my life. I didn't know what to do with that feeling. My family comes up to visit in April of 2021 for Easter. And something just clicks in my head and I look at my dad, I'm like, what if I drove back with you guys and came to visit, you know? And somehow that conversation turned into me packing up my entire apartment within the span of two days, leaving everything behind, not telling anybody, and moving halfway across the country. I don't know how we made, how we managed to make that work, but that felt like a God thing to me too. I came to Grapevine and we um, joined the church. I started going that very week that I was there and I got baptized within two weeks of me being here. And I joined the worship team almost immediately and started singing with the band. And when I tell you, I've never felt love and a family until I, I've been here. It, it's been such an amazing experience. I have been able to make countless friends and memories, and I joined um, Celebrate Recovery, and I go to the young adults group, and I sing with the worship team, and all of these resources together combined have given me a support system that I didn't know was possible. It really was a God thing. You don't think about it until after you look back and you're like, how did I get through everything that I went through? and you don't realize how much he's pulling you through until after. And I just look back at everything that I've been through and I'm like, he's been helping me for so much longer than I've ever given him credit for. I will never feel worthy enough or deserving enough of that, but every day he tries to prove that I am. And that's all we could do at the end of the day.